town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. God's name, are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? <sighs> Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Caught some cottontails. Thanks, son. Always thinking of us. You don't have to cover for your daddy. Uh... I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No, thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. Present some business acquaintances of your father's. <sighs> ah, that is good. I can see this is a well run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I have been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? If you gotta, just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. Hmm. Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for. If your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest. Owing money will be the least of his troubles. Ain't nothing to do with me. It's his problem. Yes, but sins of the fathers, I'm afraid. 
Interesting. Swiss? The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It's... it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Gabe, forgot my damn watch. Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit healed friends back here. I'll burn you alive. tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? For the love of God, Jay, I have a right to know what's going on in my own house. Don't know. I didn't see. Right. And I'm Janet fucking Jackson. What have you gotten yourself into this time? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. Shades in the back. Yeah, away from the road. <laughs> no fear. Gonna be awesome. Isn't he turning off the lights? Halfway there. There. Thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better.
Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. Ugh, disgusting. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh, it's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> You're not messed up, though. You seem like a good kid. How would you know? You're sensitive, you're smart. You know right from wrong. Ain't that smart. I'm going to jail after this. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened. Got older. Other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. Wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could... Could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. I hope she keeps on sleeping. Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? What's the plan once we get in the bus? We drive to the border and hope like hell we don't have to... They don't have any reason to harm us. We just gotta get through it. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order, and all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do.
I'm gonna sign the papers and take the check. You were right, it's time to put it all behind us. No, I... I shouldn't have pressured you. That was me wanting to put it all behind us. Look, what happened, happened. I can sit around feeling bad about it, <sighs> or I can use that check to jumpstart our new lives, you know? That does sound like a good idea. Vince. I've been thinking a lot too over the last few days, and I'm sorry, Jake. There's no going. I need to ask you something. Anything. The other night, when you, when I got that text message, and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. You know that? So I've been told. Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? It's Dale. Dale Halt? No. The one they caught shoplifting. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Look, I've I seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well, there's that Barnier there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if, um, you'd want to go there with me sometime. Well, all right. It's a date. On your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. you not telling your ma about the debt. I didn't like lying to her. I know. But you did the right thing. Even though it seemed like the wrong thing. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says 
She wants you gone. Well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. I do, Pa. Yeah, maybe you do. <sighs> Needing and wanting ain't the same thing, no. I ain't been wanted for a while. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, so... Trust you. Stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? Uh. You got it. A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. Wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. Anything? Nothing. Mm. <sighs> Ain't much, but it's better than nothing. He had a family. So do I. Didn't stop him coming after me. <clears throat> pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your mall. 
Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. Oh, man. I never told anyone this, but when I was half your age, we had this young horse, beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell the whiskey on his breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and... Oh, that's deep enough. All those years, I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. That's... You were... You were just a kid. You grab his arms, I'll take his feet. Let's get him into the hole. All right, let's get him covered before sunrise. Saving son. Like that crazy horse. Now, are you gonna help me or not? We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. <laughs> Look like you need it. To he who falls last. <sighs> you take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? 
Meetings? You can't get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people, they ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. Don't die! Don't die! <coughs> Shut up. Left me. You're still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside, you'll be digging your own graves. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should've let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, <laughs> I think. That old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, it's my fault. I should have told you about the debt. No, I won't hear that. Sweetheart, you didn't bring this on us. You want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe... There's another way. Mommy. She needs help! Oh god. Oh fuck. 
fuck, fuck, fuck! You're coming with me! Screw you, you piece of shit! I'm gonna get you out, okay? Please hurry. <sighs> Damn it! Hang on! Ma, it's over. We can't win. On three, okay? One, two... Dear God, please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! Go, go! Everyone okay? All good. Keep going. We're not safe yet. Daddy. <sighs> I, I can't breathe. <laughs> <coughs> the whole fucking place is on fire. Oh God, I hope Paul got out. How do we get out? There's a window. We're gonna have to jump. It's too high. I'll get hurt. I'll go first and catch you, okay? <laughs> All right, time to jump. And no fancy backflips. I know you want to. Have I ever told you how much I love your dumb jokes? Remember, love bug. I'll be right here. Okay, pumpkin. You ready? Please, don't make me. The flames are coming up the stairs. We need to go now. Go on, Joyce. We're right behind you. Huh? Look out! Are you all right? Climb down. I'll find another way. The bathroom at the end of the hall. I'll see you down there. We have to run for it. Should we hold our breath? Good idea. <laughs> I'll have to boost you up. I'll be right behind you, I promise. Will you fit? I'm not that big. Ready? Up you go! Get on my back. Now hold on tight. Quick, away from the flames. 2084, we have multiple officers down. Abandoned the hilltop. We need urgent backup. We're headed down now. Over. What a freaking mess. I want to go back home, to Sacramento. If we hadn't come, then none of this would have happened. I 
maybe not. But mommy's gonna be fine. And grandpa's just outside. We'll all be together again. Really soon. You promise? I do. Come on, kiddo. That was the lowest setting. You don't want to feel it on the highest. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Negative, Coburn. I got it covered. Zoe, run! Where's Sharon? Where's the book? I don't know. What are you doing? I gave you every chance to do the right thing. I trusted you. And you chose them over me. Wait, wait. They made me do it. I was gonna give it back to you, I swear. I don't care about why or how. The Holtz. <laughs> They're nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. Myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. Well, the thing is, I... I don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? Hey, where do you think you're going? I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello there. Where's my daddy? Wanna go for a ride, Dad? Let her go. I don't think so. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. Let. Her. Go. I'm not gonna ask again. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt.
Shit. <sighs> Thank you. Jay, shoot open that gate and get the truck started. She's six years old. Don't you think she's seen enough for one night? So have my boys. So have I. I'm sorry, Vince, but we need her. Please, please. I don't want to go. Wait. You need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled? Ah, we gotta go. Wait. Handcuff me. Blindfold me. Throw me in the trunk if you have to. I'll be the most obedient hostage ever. Just please. Please. Don't take my little girl. God damn it. Tyler, let's just take him instead. You try anything. Anything! I won't even say a word. Go on then. Daddy! Oh god, Zoe. Come on. You're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Just look after Mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. In case you need to see in the dark. I love you, Zoe. Oh. Oh, all the way to the moon. Say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. It wasn't always like that, you know? It's strange, where life can take you. <sighs> I'm sorry this is happening. Me too. Jay, eyes on the road. <sighs> The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving.
gotta cut you down. Way to gotta cut you down. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward? I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. God Almighty, let me tell you the news. My head's been wet with the midnight dews. Now I've been down on bended knees, talking to the man from Galilee. My God spoke, he spoke so sweet. Thought I heard the shuffle of angels' feet. He put one hand upon my head. Great God Almighty, let me tell you what he said. Tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter Tell him the God's gonna cut him down Tell him the God's gonna cut him down You may run and hide, slip and slide Try to take the moat from your neighbor's eyes But sure there is the rich and poor You're gonna reap, my brother, what you sow You may run on for a long time Run on for a long time Run on for a long time Sooner or later God'll cut you down